What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another exciting episode of Point Ever News! In today's episode, we've got some stories to talk about. Now, for starters, we got the preliminary results for the Chainsaw Man Worldwide Popularity Poll. And yeah, it's very, very shocking and surprising. Like, I thought it was going to be significantly different, but yeah, we're, we're going to get into it. We got an anniversary for the Toonami block. In case you don't know about Toonami, it is the block that made anime very, very popular in the West, especially in the late 90s and early 2000s so we're gonna briefly touch up on that along with another announcement for Toonami a new series that's coming to the block we got a small update for Dr. Stone we got an update for the Boruto anime the next arc incoming small update for Jujutsu Kaisen and then we got two gigantic updates one for My Hero Academia My Hero Academia in case you can't tell by the title yeah some um I, I guess you could say seemingly unfortunate news for the franchise so we'll be getting into that and then we got a slew of big stories for black clover because there's a lot i mean a lot to dive into with black clover so yeah we're going to be talking about everything that i've gotten um on my desk so to speak so yeah a lot of stories to talk about with this one without further ado people let's jump into another exciting episode of Point Ever News. The only news source that provides anything and everything anime and manga related. And we don't bore you. We get into it. Let's do it. No matter how you know, get it done. 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 Okay, people. So first order of business. Chain saw man in case you don't know there's a popularity poll that is still ongoing right now worldwide you can vote for your favorite character i'll try to have a link in the description below so you guys if you want to go vote go ahead and vote i recommend voting for either like power or reze but that's just me however we got the preliminary results of what people have been voting thus far and it says chainsaw man second character popularity poll provisional results coming in at number 10 kobeni oh my god i love kobeni I, I don't know i feel like she should be higher but all right number nine pochita Number eight, Himeno. Oh my gosh, shout out to Himeno. Number seven, Angel. Number six, Hirofumi Yoshida. Number five, Reze, baby. Uh, number four, Power. Now, I thought Power was going to be number one, just being honest. So I am very, very shocked that Power is number four. Reze, I love her, and I would put her one or two, but she's, uh, you know, not that bad at five. But Power, I'm shocked. Number three, Genji. Number two, Makima. And number one, Aki. I did not expect in 100 years for Aki to be number one. I, I'm imagining that that is due to a lot of Japanese votes. I mean, Aki is awesome, and I love the character, but there's like three other characters off the top of my head right here. Like, Makima, I would put at number one over him. Power, Reze, Denji, uh, Kobeni, Kobeni's car. Like, you know, there's quite a few things that I would put over him. So I'm really shocked at these. Go vote if you haven't vote. Again, now I feel like I'm obligated to put the link in the description. Go vote Power, damn it. This is wrong. But yeah, these aren't the finalized results yet. We still got time to change things. Like, vote Power. Okay, next up, people, we got some updates for Toonami. I guess for starters, let's talk that Toonami premieres the Promised Neverland anime season 2 on April 10th. Now, y'all know I am not a fan of the Promised Neverland season 2. I've criticized it very heavily. I'm still currently watching it for whatever reason. I don't know, maybe I like torturing myself. But yeah, um, Toonami is getting the Promised Neverland, which I want to say they had season 1, so it kind of makes sense and it's also around that type of you know, dark vibe, so to speak, but it's shown in at the same time for the block but yeah i don't know it's gonna be interesting to see people's reactions i'm surprised that they grabbed it in a certain regard of like i'm sure they've seen the online feedback of like yo people aren't really digging it so maybe they're hoping that like anime onlys are gonna be like oh it's great because i've seen a lot of anime only fans of the promise neverland that are like yo well, why are people complaining about season two so yeah, maybe that's what they're banking on, people that don't read the manga to check it out and enjoy, I guess. I don't know. And while we're on the topic of Toonami, apparently yesterday, as of the recording of this video, it's March 18th. So March 17th was the 24th anniversary of Toonami. According to Jason DeMarco, which he's the showrunner of Toonami, has been since the beginning, he put, Today is Toonami's 24th birthday. I never would have imagined that 24 years later it would still be running, let alone thriving. I'm profoundly grateful to each and every one of you who watched whether it was for a minute or 24 years you folks are the reason we are still here and steve bloom the voice of tom also came in to say thank you to you know them putting him on because he's been tom for not 
the entirety of it because I want to say Sunny Straight Voice of Krillin was the original Tom, but ever since Tom, I think it was like 2.0 or some shit came through, uh, Steve Bloom's been on board as well. And yeah, Toonami, like, we got a lot to be thankful for when it comes to Toonami. We got to thank them because at the end of the day, if it wasn't for Toonami, we might not have anime as big as it is in the west like they you know catapulted it in the late 90s early 2000s and even in the mid 2000s like 2005 2006 with the whole naruto thing and then again coming back at like what was it 2011 toonami did a lot for the anime industry in the west so shout outs to toonami the fact that they're thriving is really dope too and shout outs to jason demarco because he's one of the people i believe that's responsible for them adapting whenever it comes anyway at the very least the uh uzumaki anime i want that so bad jason what's going on man but yeah again one more time, uh, shout out to the Toonami, 24 years, insane. Next up, a quick update for Dr. Stone. It says, Dr. Stone will be on break in weekly Shonen Jump issue number 17 next week, and the series will resume as usual on issue number 18. So if you're a manga reader of Dr. Stone, unfortunately, there will be a small break. Again, I am not caught up to the manga. I always got to say that to let people know, like, hey, because I've, I've heard a lot of great things about the manga recently, but, like, I'm not caught up. I'm anime only, and in fact, I'm a couple episodes behind on the anime as well. I need to catch up on that. But yeah, if you're a manga reader, it'll be on break for just one week. So nothing to, you know, go crazy over. Next up, some Boruto news. A key visual was released. It says, Boruto anime new key visual to commemorate the upcoming Kawaki arc. And on the key visual is a picture of Naruto in the middle, holding Boruto on his right side and Kawaki on his left side. And if you read the manga, then you know what we're about to get into. But I'm imagining they're going to have a a lot of in canon or what what do they call it now anime canon whatever episodes on top of already what the manga because like the manga goes into to a certain degree at, at this particular point like what feels like a downtime it's more like expanding on kawaki's character and things like that so it's going to kind of go into more of a quote-unquote slice of life element but at the same time it's still adding to kawaki's character so it's going to be interesting to see how the anime handles it considering like yo you still got to keep the pace up and keep people excited week to week and while the manga you know it was like what i want to say two or three chapters of this arc that we was in maybe a little more than that um i'm looking forward to once we get from this arc because at the end of this arc things is going to heat up yet again so yeah this arc it'll be cool it'll be good for kawaki's character development and i'm, I'm still gonna watch but it's not gonna be nowhere near as hype as what we've been having and also it's kind of like i guess we're still staying technically in the canon material from the manga uh with this arc as well and what they're gonna do so i'm looking forward to it just i'm looking forward to the next arc after this one it's gonna be insane and the key visual looks kind of cool honestly it really makes it look like naruto is there with two sons like if you think about it kawaki is the son naruto wish he had <laughs> i mean he loved boruto and all that shit but let's be real boruto is you know, he's, he's more like Sasuke, like that Sasuke's son, honestly. Next up, just a small update for Jujutsu Kaisen. Apparently, in the week of March 8th through March 14th, Jujutsu Kaisen sold another whopping 1.2 million copies of the manga, including, I, I want to say, back orders and, and things like that, and back volumes, back catalogs. So, Jujutsu Kaisen just continuing to shoot up the ranks of popularity. Shouts out to JJK, amazing. And Gege Akutami, just a, a, a godlike author. Now, we got two pieces of, uh, or well one of them has a lot of pieces of news but two big series big news let's start off with let, let's go with my hero academia because this is very very significant now don't worry this is not spoilers in terms of the contents of the manga however spoilers came out for the upcoming chapter of my hero academia i want to say chapter 306 and in particular the title of the chapter has fans very very alarmed including me to a certain degree because the name of the chapter is opening of the final chapter which basically means that we're heading into the final arc final chapter of the story it could still mean because you know a lot of us are hoping for and been wanting a time skip like yo let's see Deku and them when they're older and heroes and things like that but I'm not really sure what's happening either way it says opening of final chapter which that's a very very big and bold statement it even got i want to say the cover of shonen jump it got like you know deck on the cover of the magazine and also it has a really awesome color page which i won't display because again i don't want to spoil you guys but yeah with that being 
the latest title of the upcoming chapter and I want to say we're entering a technically like new arc it's like under one big saga but it's like a new arc opening a final chapter I'm wondering like how much longer we're going to have with this series if we're potentially entering like the final arc or the final chapter of the story is it the final chapter prior to the time skip or final chapter in general for the story I feel as though Shueisha to a certain degree and Shonen Jump have been a little bit more gutsy so to speak lately and what I mean by that is they've been letting a lot of series fly out the door despite how of a popular they are i mean for crying out loud they let demon slayer go like okay what uh promised neverland huge one Q. like they've been letting a lot of series go the author of jujutsu kaisen saying eh, probably about two more years so imagine when that one goes like i don't know maybe it's just me but i feel as though you got to plan sometimes like there's peaks and valleys in every situation you know what i'm saying and if you don't have any long runnings like i get it we're in a different era now people's attention span is ridiculously short but it seems as though they really don't want to bank anymore on having like a long runner like a one piece which i understand to a certain degree from a business standpoint putting all your chips in one basket putting all your eggs in one basket is not the smartest move because for the longest time i've even been looking at shonen jump like damn they're gonna be distraught when one piece ends they're gonna be really hit hard now not so much not with like you know if they brought a new demon slayer manga in tomorrow there you go replacement for one piece done da da boom likewise with jujutsu kaisen selling very well like they have some very hard hitters that now are softening the blow of when one piece ends but for the longest time that was not the case and i think especially Especially with the monstrous amounts of money that Demon Slayer has brought in. I think they feel they could take more risks and allow series to just go to end which yeah if my hero academia is truly opening the final chapter beginning the final chapter of whether it's the story or the time skip either way is showcasing that yeah we, we might be in a different time at this point it might be the end of an era of even long running manga the way they ran for like you know 500 700 chapters and shonen jump we might get more shorter series moving forward which is a shame especially again i really wanted my hero academia time skip of them being older i think it'd be sick as hell but we gotta wait and see. Either way, opening of the final chapter with 306. That could be a long time from now. Because I remember when they announced like Naruto was entering the final arc. You know, the, the war arc was gonna be the finale. And it lasted five years. So that could very well be the case. Or it could be a month. It could be, well, I don't I don't see it being a month. But it could end by the end of this year. Who the hell knows? And yeah, just, I don't know. Kind of got me a little bit sad. Like, yeah, if this is what Horikoshi wants to do. And he has it all wrapped up in his mind of how he's going to end it. Then so be it. But... Man, I don't know. It feels like a uh, waste of potential to a certain degree, especially considering a time skip would be massive. And now, moving forward to the Black Clover news. A lot of Black Clover news. Well, for starters, let's talk about just the smaller stuff. Because for starters, it says that Black Clover will receive the cover of Shonen Jump next week. So next week, we're going to have that black clover greatness on the cover of jump which is awesome because this week we have my hero academia on the cover and you know they've kind of been like contemporaries and rivals to a certain degree they're only 20 chapters apart from each other i think my hero is on like 305 306 black clover is like on 285 286 so yeah that's really dope that they're doing back to back like bam my hero bam black clover next up some of the other updates because for starters black clover will hold its fifth character popularity poll to commemorate the sixth anniversary of the series in weekly shonen jump issue number 17 it's interesting that shonen jump is really being gung-ho about these popularity polls i guess they really want to gather data so that they can move forward on how they're going to do things but yeah if they do the popularity poll the same way they've been doing the other ones like chainsaw man and one piece where everybody could vote oh my god i'm voting yami 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 all day bam let's make yami number one if we're able to participate in this one and there's also another update it says issue number 17 which i believe that's the next issue that's going to have like you know the cover with black clover and stuff will also include a big sized black clover poster drawn by author yuki tabata and yoshihara tatsuya which i want to say he's one of the anime either the animators or the anime director of the black clover anime very very interesting and then the biggest one of all that has me a little bit like oh no what's going on what's going on according to this it says black clover will have a a serious announcement revealed in weekly shonen jump issue number 17 next week which if you do the math technically the the issue will be out like you know the, the info that we're getting right now comes out usually like sundays or mondays so technically that'll be like the 28th the 29th that this info will be available however 
if this is connected to the big info that's about to happen with the anime, wouldn't it make more sense for them to just hold off on revealing that until the 30th when we're supposed to get the big announcement, you know, the Tuesday? So are they going to give that info early about what's supposed to happen with the anime or with them saying a serious announcement? Could this be about Black Clover's manga ending as well? That right there will be a big blow because we just talked about My Hero Academia is heading into its final chapter. And then for Black Clover to come and say, yeah, fam, we're ending too Shonen Jump, what are you doing? Like, at this point, it's looking like bad business practices. Just to be honest with you, letting flagship title after flagship title. Like, Black Clover, the anime, does gangbusters. Like, it's one of the big ones for TV Tokyo. So, for them to already let that go is like, okay, I don't understand, but alright. My Hero Academia, flagship title, especially in the West for Shonen Jump. Even though Jujutsu Kaisen is blowing up in the West, My Hero Academia is arguably the biggest title right now in Shonen Jump in the West. Like, it sells millions of copies and stuff. So, for them to say, yo, My Hero, you can go. Black Clover, another one, you can go. What are you doing, Shonen Jump? I get it, that Demon Slayer money's been great. The Jujutsu Kaisen money is awesome, but... Come on, fam. You're just, like, throwing everything out the magazine. I, I get it. You also probably want to make room so that series like Marshall and Undead Unluck can grow in popularity and stuff. But, man, if this serious announcement is about, like, Black Clover's manga ending alongside the anime, it's like, what the hell? I don't know. A lot of great news and then a lot of very sad and bad news at the same time. Like, this having a serious announcement. Again, it just could be connected to what's happening with the anime. But for them to be releasing the magazine prior to the anime's announcement... That's worrisome because that would be them basically leaking the info of what's supposed to be announced on that big live stream and stuff like that. So I don't know what's going to happen, but bam, Shonen Jump. Yo, y'all giving us Death Blows 2021, huh? And I'm curious what you guys think about the stories we covered in today's episode. For starters, the Chainsaw Man popularity poll early results. Are you happy with them? Do you disagree with them? Mo Power, Reze Power, Kobani, Himeno, Denji, whatever. Just like, shake things up. Your thoughts on Toonami bringing the Promised Neverland Season 2 alongside 24th Anniversary? Like, holy cow. Like, it's been around for a while and I'm glad to hear that it's doing good. So, it'll be around a lot longer. Dr. Stone taking a break. Again, not the biggest deal in the world. You know, it'll be back the following week. Although, for manga readers, I'm imagining it's a bummer considering I'm hearing great things about the manga right now. Boruto's new anime arc. Are you excited for for it. Again, really cool key visuals showcasing like Boruto and Kawaki and what their relationship is going to look like with Naruto. Your thoughts on Jujutsu Kaisen selling again 1.2 million in a short week. Like, yo, Jujutsu Kaisen, oh my god. Your thoughts on My Hero Academia's latest chapter being called Beginning of the Final Chapter. You think we're entering the final arc here soon? You think the manga is going to wrap up? If it is wrapping up, how much longer do you think we'll have? I want to say, honestly, realistically, the manga probably won't end in 2021. I would say that earliest would be somewhere in 2022 to if it is indeed ending and this isn't going into like a time skip and your thoughts on all the black clover news the popularity poll the cover of jump uh the poster with yuki tabata and the anime director and the serious announcement what the hell you think it could be considering it's coming before the big live stream regarding the anime you think it's going to announce black clover's ending like yo imagine they say five chapters left oh my god and your thoughts on any of the stories we covered in today's episode but that's all i have for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoy the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram hit that bell to get all notifications and if you want to follow any of my other social media links are in the description below i'm from that world and as always people have an awesome day and remember the golden rule anime and manga for life boy have an awesome day peace in and you guys just watched another episode of whatever it is have an awesome day. Yeah.